Osprey from RyeWire, and today I wanted to do a general overview of how to wire a K engine into basically any car. So what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna talk about the RyeWire uh, product line, and I'm gonna start with harnesses that you guys are probably a little bit or pretty familiar with, and then I'm going to jump into some of our new products and how they work a little bit differently than the way that you guys might uh, generally remember. So what first thing I, I wanna talk about is our engine harnesses. So our K-Series engine harnesses, one is called the K2 Budget, the other one is called the K2 Mil Spec or our Raycam harness. So those harnesses are both exactly the same as 02 to 04 wiring harnesses for the RSX and the EP3. So any like 02 to 04 RSX, we'll call it, um, engine harness going to any 02 to 04 ECU with a K-Pro or not, um, it's gonna be the general layout that you guys are gonna be the most familiar with. So this is our budget engine harness here, and it's plugged into a Honda in this case, but in reality, any 02 to 04 RSX harness uh, will work in this application. So that's the engine harness plugged straight into the ECU. One thing I want to notice or let you guys um, uh, point out is that only two plugs out of the three in the computer are plugged into these harnesses. So it's gonna be the A plug and the B plug. The C and the D are for automatic transmissions and these ECUs don't have them. You can see through this cover that they're actually not populated. So the E plug is on the very end. And um, what you guys are probably pretty familiar with, let's say you have a DC, EG, any of the you know standard, let's call it Honda uh, cars, you use a chassis specific adapter or some kind of like an interface harness for the chassis. Now these are equipped with we call this the C101 plug because that's what um, it is in the service manual. These two plugs will plug together and then it'll have the third ECU plug on the chassis side, just like an RSX. So if you're familiar with how the RSX works, this is an RSX essentially layout with the two ECU plugs and we have a third ECU plug plugs into the ECU. These harnesses are fitted with, of course, the engine harness integration, an O2 sensor for the primary, an O2 sensor for the secondary, an O2 sensor relay, OBD2 port, and then interfacing the chassis specific car, which in this case is an EG or DC. So you guys are probably pretty familiar with how that works. You need an engine harness, you need a chassis interface. Um, also, maybe you're aware that you don't always need these. And what you can do in this case is you can use one of our race fuse boxes. So these are getting a lot more popular. Um, guys are basically not running any chassis wiring and then they're running one of these. And how these work is it's got all these central relays in it. It's got the ECU relay, coils for power. It's got um, fuel pump, fan, et cetera. And these have very similar plugs. C101 plug that plugs into the engine harness. And then it has the E plug that plugs into the ECU. So works the same way. Um, you can also interface, plug and play one of our switch panels. So one of these kits is really cool. It's really easy. It makes um, you know wiring like a front engine car really straightforward. Uh, you no longer need the chassis wiring harness. Um, and that's pretty much an overview of that. Next, I'm going to make things a little bit more complicated and we're gonna uh, show you guys some of our newer product line uh, that we're working on currently. All right, guys, so the next wiring harness I wanna introduce is our rear wheel drive specific harness. This one varies a bit because this is made for the guys putting the rear wheel drive setup in their car, longitudinally mounted engine, a uh, couple different transmission choices. And the main thing that I wanna go over with this, other than the fitment on the engine, is actually the way that this plugs into the ECU. So this is gonna, is gonna have incorporating all three ECU plugs, the A plug, the B plug, and then the E plug is all on the engine harness. And with that, then the O2 sensor for the wideband uh, factory sensor is going to be on the engine harness as well as the primary O2 sensor. So uh, that changes things a lot because if, if you guys remember on the other style wiring harness, the E plug is on the body, and in this case, the E plug is actually on the engine harness. So with that being said, this chassis interfacing adapter plug is going to be wired, in this case, closer to actually like a B series harness. So um, I wanna show you guys some different integrations with this wiring harness. And uh, for example, this is a harness that you guys may know, this is our B3 race fuse box for the B series, but in this case, the interfacing plug is going to be a match. So this is a K-series harness. 
but it is going to end up using a B series, uh, D series, and H series fuse box. Um, reason for that is because I said before, there's generally an E plug located on the K specific stuff. And in this case, because the E plug is fitted on the engine harness, it's going to be using the other style fuse box. You can also use our switch panel in this case, and it is plug and play. And the engine harness will plug straight in like this. And this is a really good option. If you guys want to step it up a little bit more and you wanted to do a full chassis solution, we have our PDM fuse box. So this is a power distribution module. It's a solid state unit that uses no fuses or relays, but it is in fact a solution like a fuse box, um, just a really cool and capable programmable box. Um, if you guys have seen these in the, in the past, um, they're definitely popular on our website and these will actually integrate the same way just like our B series line of products for the PDM harness. So um, hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of an idea on our new style wiring harness with the E plug on the engine harness and how they're gonna now kind of turn into um, plugging into some of our B series specific stuff. Um, I hope that makes sense. You guys can always shoot us an email, orders at rywire.com. Um, give us a, me a message. Uh, we're also really good about looking at all of our invoices. If you guys do place an order and something looks off or, you know, we're not just going to be like, oh, it's it's probably what they want. Who cares? Right. We're actually going to look at it and we're going to go. Does these do these work together? Do we need to make any adjustments for them to work together? Uh, we also look at all the notes. So if you guys write us a note at the end of the order and kind of say maybe you want to throw a little, little bit of extra information, we'll definitely take that into account and then we'll reach out to you and um, if we have any questions on our end. So um, this is just supposed to be an overview of our K-series harnesses. We also have an Infinity style harness that does incorporate very similar to this one, but it has the AEM Infinity ECU plug specific on the engine harness um, instead of, in this case, like a 0 2 to 4 So um, have a look at our website, rywire.com, and reach out to us if you have any questions. Thanks.